Chapter 456. Or Chen Kneels. Sister Zhu, Ban Kai and Kin stared at Zhu Moin while her face was riddled with worry and seriousness. Huang Zulai and a few other illusory demon sect girls looked worried and solemn as well. They were all scared of running into Yi Hao and the three great families martial practitioners in this lush forest. It was obvious that Yi Hao and Ling Dong Xin's group had formed an alliance. In this case, it wasn't really smart to go against them with illusory demon sex power alone. They also thought that it was for the best if they do not leave for now. After thinking for a moment, Zhu Moin nodded slightly under the girl's expectant gazes, saying, We shall stay with them for the moment. The five girls all let out secret sighs of relief. Julie rubbed his chin while staring back and forth between Zhu Moin and Kin Lai with an odd gaze. He was obviously delighting over the misfortune he foresaw would fall onto Kin Lai. That is hell in front of you, kid. Julie thought on the inside. He thought that Zhu Moin was Kin Lai's fiance, but Kin Lai had gone through heaven and hell to save Song Tinu. The second Zhu Moin realized Kin Lai's identity, would she fly into humiliated rage? How would she treat Kin Lai? Julie was starting to feel a headache for Kin Lai. Over there. The battle's over there. It was at this moment he Wei's voice came from afar. Julie suddenly turned spirited at the voice as he yelled, We're over here. The crowd turned towards the direction of the voice. Before long, he Wei, Song Tinu, Ren Peng and the others had appeared one after another. Julie, are you fine? He Wei cried, Kin Lai, how are you doing? Song Tinu exclaimed. The gazes of the illusory demon sex girls suddenly shot towards Song Tinu all at once. Their eyes were filled with curiosity. They knew very well just how heavy the price Kin Lai had paid in order to save this woman, to the point where he nearly lost his life in the process. They wanted to know what kind of woman she was to be able to make Kin Lai willing to sacrifice his own life. The second they glanced at Song Tinu, they immediately understood why. They all exclaimed inside their hearts, What a beautiful woman! Although she was infected with a voodoo toxin and looked both haggard and spiritless, Song Tinu's perfect proportions and extraordinarily beautiful face were undeniable. No one could deny that she was a beauty who could capture every man's heart if they took even a single glance at her. Kin Lai has acquired the voodoo insect's blood. Chu Li exclaimed, He Wei, Song Tinu and the other infected people looked like they had lit up and become several times spirited the moment they heard the news. Here, five voodoo insect blood droplets. You will take one drop each and put it at your forehead. The blood will automatically suck out the toxin. Kin Lai smiled and took out another jade bottle. He poured five blood droplets into the jade bottle and passed it swiftly to Chu Li so he could help cure his friend's ailment. Chu Li accepted the jade bottle and glanced once at the final two droplets of blood. Suddenly, he let out an odd chuckle. On the other side, Bo Chen, who had been quiet all this time suddenly looked towards this side. He stared straight at Kin Lai's hands. There were a total of ten blood droplets inside the jade bottle. In order to coerce Zoom Moin to go up against ten thousand beast mountain and heavenly artifact sect, he had burned away two blood droplets and passed one to Pan Kai and Kin later on. Now, he had taken out another five blood droplets to cure Hui Wei, Song Tinu and the others. Now, he only had two blood droplets left in the jade bottle in his hands. He had promised one blood droplet to Luo Chen as a reward for him killing a ten thousand beast mountain martial practitioner. The other blood droplet would only be given if Luo Chen knelt to Kin Lai on one feet. However, Kin Lai himself had been poisoned by the voodoo toxin. Didn't he need a voodoo insect blood to cure himself as well? There were plenty of people who came to realization. This guy is so bad. He's obviously just playing Luo Chen. There's no way he's not using a drop of blood on himself. An illusory demon sect girl muttered and rolled her eyes at Kin Lai from afar. The rest of the girls also thought that Kin Lai was purposely toying with Luo Chen. Juan and Zhang Chendong also thought that they figured out what was going on as their expressions abruptly turned dark. They thought that even if Luo Chen was willing to kneel and beg the voodoo insect blood for their sake, Kin Lai would never pass the two blood droplets to Luo Chen. This meant that one of them was going to waste away slowly due to the voodoo toxin. No one here realized that Kin Lai still had another jade bottle containing seven unused voodoo insect blood. Kin Lai, are you toying with me? Luo Chen suddenly yelled. Kin Lai went blank for a moment before he suddenly coming to realization when he stared at the two remaining voodoo insect blood droplets in his hand. After a frown, he shook his head and laughed coldly. I am not toying you. As long as you are willing to kneel on one knee, as long as you are willing to beg me, then I will pass the remaining blood to you. I only have one question. Will you do it, or not? You obviously only have two blood droplets left, and you are infected by the voodoo poison as well. Luo Chen roared angrily. You don't need to worry about me. Kin Lai chuckled Dottie. I am simply asking if you are willing to kneel to me for their life. Are you willing to put down your so-called pride? Give me the two blood droplets first. Then, I'll kneel. Luo Chen sucked in a deep breath and exclaimed in a cold tone. No problem. To their surprise, Kin Lai agreed to Luo Chen's proposal and raised his hand amidst the people's shocked gaze, saying, You shall all be my witnesses. Illusory demon sex Zhu Moyan, the five girls, Du Xiang Yang, Chu Li, and the late coming Wei and Song Tinu's group all froze at once. Their gazes were instantly focused onto Kin Lai, and the jade bottle he was lifting in the air. They saw the two blood droplets inside the jade bottle. I will pass this to you first. Under their gaze, Kin Lai actually walked closer to Luo Chen and passed the jade bottle to Luo Chen. Once he was done, he even said, You can pass this to Zhuan and Zhang Chendong first and cure them to test if this voodoo insect blood is real or not. Everyone froze. Luo Chen's gaze was indescribably odd as he held the jade bottle in his hands and froze on the spot, at a loss as to what he should do. Brother Wo, Brother Wo. Luo Chen was awakened from his days by Zhuan's soft cries. And after he came to, he subconsciously passed the jade bottle in his hands to Zhuan and said, Test and see if this is the real thing. Both Zhuan and Zhang Chendong had never let their eyes move away from the jade bottle in Kin Lai's hands. 
They dared say that Kinlai absolutely did not switch it with something else, and these two blood droplets were definitely the cure to the voodoo toxin. Both of them were incredibly excited. Carefully, they put the two voodoo insect blood drops onto their foreheads. Following the Wei and Song Tinu's posture, they sat down on the ground and used their true souls to sense the activity inside their own bodies. The group could clearly sense the voodoo toxin toxin exiting from their pupils like strings and flowing into the blood at their foreheads. The effects were exactly the same as what was going on with Wei and Song Tinu right now. This proved that the blood droplets were real. Kin Lai had honored his promise beforehand and gifted them both drops. The group subconsciously looked towards Luo Chen. They all wanted to know the decision this core ringer of Heavenly Sword Mountain, the Heaven Blessed Sun, the genius of the Sword Wei would make. Would he kneel? No one could figure out the answer immediately. They could all see the struggle, the difficulty, and the embarrassment in his eyes. Song Tinu's gray eyes slowly brightened as she cured the poison inside her body. An odd light rippled through her eyes as her heart was filled with extraordinary feelings. Not long ago, back at Sea Moon Island, Luo Chen was given great regards by Blue Star Association's president and served greatly as the core ringer of Heavenly Sword Mountain. Meanwhile, they were discovered by them just before they were about to leave Sea Moon Island and forced to surrender the blank tombstone. For their sake, for Tang Siki, Lian, Yi Yan, Mo Hai and everyone else, Qin Lai had chosen to endure the humiliation and submit the blank tombstone obediently. A long time had passed since then, and Qin Lai never brought that matter up again. He was also silent for quite a while. Song Tin knew very well that that incident was a huge humiliation for Qin Lai. She thought that it would take Qin Lai another ten years or so to experience a giant leap in his realm and status before he could reclaim his pride. He would never imagine that Qin Lai was going to clean up his shame in the trial in just a few months' time. The humiliation to Luo Chen by asking him to kneel on one knee was probably no lesser than the humiliation he subjected on Qin Lai. This person will probably go back on his promise, won't he? He is the sword genius of Heavenly Sword Mountain, and the strongest of his generation. Can he really put down his pride? Song Tin shook her head slightly. Zhu Li was smiling coldly, and Du Ziyang Yang's expression was cheerful. Meanwhile, Zhu Moin and the other illusory demon sect girls wore rod gazes. They were all waiting for Luo Chen's decision, but deep inside their hearts. They did not believe that Luo Chen would kneel to Qin Lai. After all, once today's matter was spread out, Luo Chen would never be able to lift his head in front of Qin Lai again. How could Luo Chen possibly do such a thing? However, what happened in the next moment shocked everyone in the area. Thump. Luo Chen bowed his head and knelt on one knee heavily in front of Qin Lai. It was I, Luo Chen, who had acted rudely. I apologize. He gritted his teeth and exclaimed word by word. No one saw that Luo Chen had bitten his lips so hard that they were bleeding. No one knew how terrible it was for Luo Chen to kneel either. He was the only one who understood it. By kneeling to Qin Lai. It meant that Qin Lai had completely torn his pride to shreds. From here on out, he, Luo Chen would not hold the slightest bit of pride when he was before Qin Lai. As long as Qin Lai was alive in the future, he would be a soundless badge of humiliation for Luo Chen. Ah. Ban Kai and Qin covered her mouth and lost control of her voice. Her face was filled with astonishment. The illusory demon sect girls had also cried out in surprise. Chu Li, Du Zian Yang, He Wei and even Zhuan and Zhang Chendong had frozen suddenly with shock written on their faces. Everyone knew about Luo Chen's pridefulness, and that he was a miracle in swords since the moment he was born. They knew that he was raised as the future leader of Heavenly Sword Mountain. He had never let down anyone's expectations before. He Wei and Du Ziyang Yang were both talented people and sword geniuses in Heavenly Sword Mountain among the same age group. However, they were both suppressed by Luo Chen from the beginning to the end. When Heavenly Sword Mountain was brought up, among the young generation, Luo Chen had always been the brightest and most powerful person of them all. No one could deny this point. However, today, this proud and bright figure had actually put down his pride in front of a nameless small fry. Luo Chen had actually knelt down to his knee, 